Hi guys, it is a lovely summer day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. <clears throat> it is now July 5th, we have made it through the, uh, whatever that was yesterday and uh, lovely summer weekend and we are full up here at Bugs in a Jar, so I need to make a quick video while people are off. But uh, <clears throat> I've had a couple of people <clears throat> mention that they would uh, like a quick tour of what I am uh, trying to create at Bugs in a Jar Vacation Rental. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to give you a, a quick tour. If you if you want a much deeper uh, <clears throat> tour, I do have another YouTube channel, which is called uh, Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent. Uh, Finger Lakes Tiny Homes, not Tiny Houses for Rent, and you can uh, find videos of all the different. Uh, tiny houses and a bunch more information but I just want to give anyone a brief tour wondering what this bugs in a jar farm is uh, so this is our community kitchen where everyone can come share we have a full kitchen down here and a community bathroom in there this is our hummingbird tiny house uh, which we just put this fine looking screen porch on <coughs> two days ago about time uh, we got the screen porch on hummingbird <coughs> so uh, we'll just go around the loop uh, <coughs> this is the uh, the bog garden uh, the bog garden frog pond in here uh, the <coughs> these plants here are called jopai weed they're supposed to bloom in uh, in August but they are already going into bloom <coughs> not sure what that's about are you coming little dog so uh, this is the they walk through the uh, Sancho. Are you coming or not? <clears throat> this is the walk through the Joe Pie Gauntlet over the bridge and through the woods. <clears throat> Make sure this isn't somebody coming up. I, I can't take you inside the tiny houses, you know, because there's people here. But if you go on to Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent, you can get the complete inside tour of the places as well. So this is our uh, path up the hill. There goes the little dog after a chippy like that. <clears throat> All right. So this is our Blue Dragon tiny house this is uh th th this is the biggest one this is 10 by 12 inside with an 8 by 12 uh screened in porch so this is our big you, this uh <laughs> this tuberous begonia has really uh gone completely berserk up here at uh at Blue Dragon and uh, Blue Dragon and Seahorses have their own outhouses so there's a here's a peak of the front porch the view out the screen porch as I say you can go on Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent and click on the Blue Dragon video and take the full tour. Sancho, we're heading up. <clears throat> so, uh, 
and there you go and i would absolutely love anybody watching this to come visit me at bugs in a jar farm and you can find out how to do that on finger lakes tiny homes for rent so uh now we're walking up to the newest addition which is seahorse in the pines uh, if you want to get away from the summer heat uh, i'd highly advise uh, a trip to seahorse in the pines uh, this is uh so seahorse in the pines is eight by ten feet and we just added a six by ten foot screen porch onto it so uh and it has its own outhouse in the back so uh, not good light here but uh it's actually pretty sunny up here i'm surprised it's this sunny this must be the sunniest part of the day but all the <clears throat> all the tiny houses have their own picnic tables and fire rings and now all three of them i can say have screened porches so uh, this is the seahorse in the pines which is by far the most popular there's i have more than twice as many reservations on seahorse than blue dragon and hummingbird combined so uh Actually, this place is, there's nobody in here yet. They haven't checked in yet, so we can take a quick peek at what these places look like inside. So, uh, this is the inside of, of Seahorse. Come on, little dog. All right. So, this is the view from the, from the deck at Seahorse. And, uh, all right, let's just take the loop, little dog. <clears throat> well, we're already going down. You say, Pop, why did we even come up here? Come on now. Could be chippies down here. So, uh, as I say, all of the tiny houses have their own, their own fire rings and picnic tables. And all of that... <clears throat> So now we're going to head back through the fern bank, through the fern bank, heading down to the main pond. And uh, these ferns, four years ago, <laughs> I think there were about six ferns here, and now there's about 600 ferns here. I don't know what it is about this one particular spot that these ferns love so much <clears throat> so anyway uh, this is heading back down towards the uh, where we started in the community kitchen and uh, hummingbird so uh, there's there's Blue Dragon up in the sun. This is another another stairwell down. I need to watch myself. <clears throat> All right. So uh, here is our main our main pond. That's the, uh, the pickerel is that purple flower. Lily pads blooming. I got some catfish and bluegills and 10 billion frogs in here. And the lightning bug show is peaking. So I don't have much of a garden this year. I, this is out, uh, 
This is my island garden. Uh, so I'm not growing much except tomatoes. Call it my BLT garden. <coughs> so I have my lettuce and uh, I get these ridiculous. This, this is one cherry tomato. This, this cherry tomato is about six inches high six weeks ago. And you look at these tomato plants. These are the zinnias. Uh, I keep them cut for <coughs> fresh flowers in the tiny houses. Look at those tomatoes. BLTs on the way if you want uh, to come here to have a garden fresh BLT. I would uh, advise coming here in August. And the other thing that's happening in August and the blackberry cobblers. Uh, look at the, look at this blackberry crop. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking <clears throat> I will probably have about 200 pounds of, uh, I'm thinking about 200 pounds of blackberries. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have a big... A big drought. Look at that guy. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? And uh, anyway, that was the quick tour of Bugs in a Jar Farm. I would uh, absolutely love to have you come spend a few days here. And uh, one more time, just go on my YouTube channel. <coughs> Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent and pick you one out and I would love to see you down here. This is what I'm doing when I'm not uh, doom scrolling. Bye guys.